AutoZoneSale.com here for a soft-sided cooler challenge. We've done plenty of these in the past, but we've had more requests, uh, especially for this uh, Yeti hopper on the end. Uh, we've picked up some new coolers here in the middle, and we want to test them all against the Ingle TPU cooler here on the end. This is the best soft-sided cooler that we've tested to date, so we want to match these up. Now, each one of these coolers is a little bit different in size, so in order to make this fair, what we've done is standardize the ice that we put in the inside of these coolers. So we just went to the store and picked up 10 pound bags of ice. Each cooler has 10 pounds of ice on the inside. We're also going to place two beverages, uh, those here on the end, and we'll rotate those beverages three times a day. So this does two things. It simulates actual use and it allows you at home to see the progression of ice melt. It's much easier to see where that where that soda is in relation to ice. Is it Can it sit on top? Does it sink to the bottom? Uh, and again, it allows us to introduce warm air three times a day, morning, afternoon, and evening. We can also take temperature readings uh, of the coolers. Each one of these coolers is spaced out a little bit so one's not casting the shadow on another. They're going to stay out here all day and night throughout the test uh, so they'll all be getting even sunlight and the coolers have not been pre-chilled. We just went to the store, filled them up, took them out of the garage, filled them up with ice and now we're ready to, uh, to test. So as we're getting going let's take a look at these coolers. We'll show you that they are in fact filled with the 10 pounds of ice and the two beverages and we'll get a uh, temperature reading. So first up here on the end is this Ingle TPU. Uh, again this is the best cooler that we've tested to date. Right now on the outside of this cooler we are eating 82 degrees. It's still the morning in Florida so it should warm up. Uh, internally we are reading 42.2. It hasn't quite cooled down because we just put that in. Uh, so we'll open this up and show you that how much 10 pounds of ice. So 10 pounds of ice on this cooler, this is the largest one, uh, only fills this cooler up about um, maybe 25-30%. So we'll put the two cokes in right on top. You can see that filled uh, up maybe again a third of the way. Close this up and we'll move on to the next cooler. Next up is the cool and dry. This is a pretty cool cooler, uh, no pun intended, but uh, it has a unique feature and that's this tray on top that I've set on top. I'll show you how this works. So this, is, this should be for your dry food. So we've already gone ahead and put the 10 pounds of ice in there, which is on the bottom. So that only fills this cooler up uh, yeah, maybe 20% or so. We'll grab two beverages over here and we'll put these on top. And then this is supposed to go on and it acts a two part. Keeps your, your dry goods dry. It also adds as another um, insulation factor on the inside. So it's sitting right on top of that ice. So we'll go ahead and put that in and close this one up. Next up is the Torrent. Uh, this looks very similar to the Orca Pod. We tested the Orca Pod in the past. It looks very familiar to, or very similar to that. Um, and we'll show you the zippers uh, um, the same as well. It's very similar to that uh, Ingle TPU cooler and slightly different than the uh, Yeti Hopper. So we'll look at this on the inside. And this is an actual semi-hard sided. It actually holds its shape. Filled up about a third of the way. Two beverages on top. Close that up. Last but not least is the Yeti hopper here on the end. Uh, as you can see, the zipper has always been a problem for me. That's filled up uh, uh, maybe 40% of the way on the uh, Yeti hopper. Put in the two beverages, like so, and close it up. Alrighty. All right, so that is the setup of the soft-sided cooler challenge. We will film every morning, afternoon, and evening, but for your sake uh, and time's sake, we will fast forward all that. You'll be able to see it, but it will be in a much more condensed version. And we will pick back up for an update when the first cooler drops out of the soft-sided cooler challenge. Eighty-five, fifty-four and a half on the inside. Completely out of ice. Still really cool in there. Oh, I would say that's below fifty. I'll put this thermometer in the water. Let's see. 
This one uh, has been out now for, this is the second day now that it's out of ice. Completely out, spin out. Tort ran out of ice yesterday afternoon. Completely out. And last but not least is the Yeti. And that one's out as well. Okay, after three full days, we finally reached the end of the soft-sided updated cooler challenge. Uh, I'll give you the rundown here in, in order. We are going to fast forward it for you guys uh, so we can speed it up here. Uh, the cool and dry ran out of the 10 pounds of ice uh, about a day and a half after we started. Uh, next up were these two coolers on the end here, the Tord and the Yeti Hopper. Those ran out of ice. Uh, last night so we can say that went about two and a half days anywhere from two and a quarter to two and a half days and that leaves us here with the, the reigning champion again defending its title the angle TPU soft-sided cooler uh, it had ice in there last night as of 9 p.m. when I went to bed this morning it is out of ice but it's still quite cool on the inside we are reading 52 degrees on the inside and 87 degrees on the surface of this cooler I'm not sure how well it's gonna come out on camera but um, for two out of the three days of this ice challenge, the coolers were plus 100. Uh, yesterday afternoon, it was uh, up to 115 degrees on the uh, surface of the cooler. That's, uh, that's the highest that I saw, it was 115 degrees. Again, only 10 pounds of ice, so um, we only filled these coolers up anywhere from 20 to 30% based on their size, and still that didn't affect the angle uh, TPU from, from holding ice the longest. So, although Though it was for a less amount of time when we ran this test before the angle held ice I want to say for five days I'll link to that video in the description below as well as have the information uh, but I want to say it was five days that was when it was filled to capacity with ice now we're talking 20% and it still went three days so really impressive uh, thanks for watching guys subscribe give us a thumbs up it's what helps us to keep going we are next going to film individual reviews of these coolers because each one of them's a little bit different uh, like this one for example has that ice tray I mentioned uh, during the test it also comes with a little lunch box, so just different quirky things. This Torrit is uh, very similar to the Orca Pod, so we're going to do a, a Torrit versus the Orca Pod and show you the, the differences between those two coolers. Anyways, that is a wrap of the Soft-Sided uh, Cooler Challenge brought to you by CoolersOnSale.com.